Hey folks, welcome to life on Beagle Road. Anyone see something wrong with this picture? Mostly this part right here, it's January, and I'm wearing a t-shirt. This is Pennsylvania. Five days ago, there was snow on the ground and now I'm in a t-shirt. It's winter, let's have some snow. You guys remember this chicken coop? We made like 27 videos of progress on it. We built this big run too. Yeah, well today, Today we're actually gonna finish it. Right, Kenny? The chickens haven't been getting enough attention on this channel. I mean, chickens are amazing. They make eggs. You don't have to feed them much. They eat bugs. Chickens are amazing. And now that this is gonna be all done, this is going to be amazing too. And they're going to love it. Kenny's inside trimming up some pieces for the chicken coop. I'm going to check on the goats in the meantime. One thing that can happen when the weather is crazy like this and it's up and down and hot and cold and humid and dry and just kidding, it's never dry. But the temperature changed and made it really humid in the barn and outside. My point is, one of the things that can happen is goats can get pneumonia. I noticed that dandelion honey is uh, breathing a little rapidly and I can see like her nostrils flaring more than everybody else. So I'm gonna get her up here on the milking stand and take her temperature and check her out. Just uh, make sure I'm ahead of anything that could be going wrong. So the story on dandelion honey is she is over three months pregnant. She's due March, March 8th. She's looking quite large. So I would expect at least triplets out of her. The matcha looks pretty good. So I'm gonna check her temperature. All right, so her temperature was 103.1, which is normal, particularly on a very warm day like this. Goats can get like silent or walking pneumonia, so I will keep an eye on her but it could just be the change in temperature and it could definitely be that she is big and pregnant and has her fluffy winter coat on and it's 60 degrees. I mean, I'm in a t-shirt and I'm sweating walking around, but better safe than sorry. While she's up here, I think I'm gonna trim her hooves and uh, just maybe give her a multivitamin supplement and get back to uh, helping Kenny before I get accused of not helping with the projects. I appreciate that you are trying to put on all the trim for me and make it look pretty. It wasn't the trim. I had to close the doors because if I didn't close the doors, then you'd have this like major draft coming in. That was the important part. Okay. I swear. Okay. But what I really need you to do is get the coop connected to the run so I can put all the chickens in there. Okay. Well. Please. All right. Well, we got to lift it up a little bit so I can put some stuff underneath it, get it up a little higher off the ground. And then we can cut holes in the coop and the run, and then we should be good. Well, and connect them, obviously. Yeah. How are we gonna pick it up? You've been working out, right? We're gonna use a car jack. It's gonna be great, I promise. It's gonna be great. We're gonna do a car jacking? Yep, car jacking. Got it, okay, let's go car jacking. Yes. Okay, so doing this isn't gonna be the easiest thing in the world because, uh, hold on. The car jack sits up higher than anywhere that I can sort of lift up. So I have to create like some space or spacer blocks and I'm gonna have to put a beam across that we can push on and then that'll have to get screwed into the, the runners underneath the, uh, the structure itself. I mean, I probably am fine leaving it on those four by four uh, runners, but I'd actually like to get it up just a tad higher or at least get it on the concrete blocks. I feel like it's just pushing down into the mud at the moment and that's not good anyway. So see what we can come up with. That looks like the middle, right? Maybe a little bit more over. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. I think that's good right there. Okay. Just gonna set these blocks up so maybe it can go faster and I don't hurt myself. I don't know what you're talking about, Kenny. This has been the fastest project ever. I mean, if you include only the time I worked on it, I think you might be right. But you'd also have to erase the flood issue. Yeah, right? Right. Yeah. So I put a spacer block in all the way across uh, with like, like three inch lag bolts or these like hex locks, whatever. Oh wait, two seven eights, whatever, I don't know. Uh, and then I put the beam in with the four inch bolts. The plan here, hopefully it works. I think it will, but it's just to jack it up and hopefully it doesn't break. And then slide these under as fast as I can without smashing my fingers if it does break, okay? This is a great plan. <laughs> it is. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Oh, oops. Go the other way. That would help. Going up. Let me get that one in. I'm gonna have to hoist it up just a bit more. Okay. Keep your eye on that. So you can... Am I good? You're good. Okay, we can get one under now. Not yet, almost. You need to go a little higher. All right, I think you're gonna be good. All right, well, we'll do it like this, because then it'll sit on it, and then we'll lift from the other side, I think. That makes sense. Yeah. I mean, I guess I could scoot that other one over here, and then they both fit. Right? Yep. Yeah, that's a better plan. If you were watching kids' movies in the 80s, you probably remember The Secret of Nim. That's what this reminds me of. We are saving the mouse house from sinking into the mud because the kid has pneumonia. Probably has pneumonia because the weather was like so up and down. Huh. All right. What do you think, Jay-Z? Are you ready? Hold on, I'm asking Jay-Z if he likes his new home. You don't know yet. Hasn't seen the inside. All Sight right. unseen. Okay. You come over here. I'm pretty sure you turn the top thing to release it. Oh yeah, I know, but it comes like super fast. Uh oh. There we go. Nice and slow. Yeah, that could be way worse. Nice and slow. Okay. So you see what the issue is already? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> it's like leaning the other way. We should be sitting flush on those other blocks. We are on the middle one. Yeah. Well, the ground's higher in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not that it's leaning, it's just, it's the ground. Well, and I can get these under a while. Come back and get the other one. Yeah. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. What do you think, girls? You excited for your new housing? The Chick Mahal. The Poultry Palace. Oh, come on. Close, 
play it for a little while. Just put your guitar down. You want to throw that one in there? All right, so Kenny is recutting some stuff up in the garage for the like nesting area. Man, it's hard to get in a shot. So this isn't generally my wheelhouse, but I'm just gonna do it so it's done. Oh, I think the camera's tipping. Let's not drop it. Let's go with a better angle. <laughs> Hey, did you bring another battery for this? No. What's that for? I'm cutting the hole for the for the coop. It'll take forever with that. Honey, you don't want to use that. You want to use this. This will cut the hole fast. I guess that's why I don't do this stuff. Exactly. Anyway, I marked the hole for you. It's good. Thanks. All right, Courtney wanted to try and cut this on her own, so we're gonna see how it goes. I got some screws there just to hold the two layers of wood together, but so we get the frame on. Go ahead, baby. One thing I would say to you is err on the side of, on the outside of the line versus the inside of the line. Okay. It's all right. Because remember, we'll put a frame on, but we need the, we need the inside. Yeah. Doing my best. Doing your best. All right, come on. Next one. These little holes are really small, Kenny. Well, you gotta lean it. You you can't stick it the whole way through. You want me to start it for you? Yeah, maybe. All right, let me no, start it. No, I can do it. I can do you it. Sure. Yeah. I mean, Tilt it. Which, no, no, no. Tilt it, go slow, get your line started, and then once you get a line, you'll be able to get the whole blade in. Okay, got it? Mm -hmm. Yep, go slow. Don't shove it in there, just let it there you go. Good. Okay, go to the big hole, do it over there. Oh, you did that one? All right, now you're down at the bottom. Watch those screws I screwed in there. All right, look at you, champ. You did a great job. I did it. So now I just need to clean up the sides, right? Well, you're not going to be able to with that very well. You kind of had to go big to start with, and then we wouldn't have to worry about it because the frame would cover it. Take those screws out, and then we'll put the frame on and see how bad we are. I think I could do a little bit. You could try, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna try. Those screws are there helping you out. I know. Was that an angle? Saw and pull back. There you go. Cut this corner off. Okay. And then it'll give you enough room to get the blade on. Now go sideways. Like yeah, oh, sideways. Okay. Completely side. There you go. Stop! You have to put that metal thing up against here and then cut. And you're supposed to just cut that piece off, not make a whole new thing. You're going right at that screw. I didn't get to the screw. I can see it. Uh, I don't know about that. I do. All right. Okay, maybe you should do this. Okay. Oh, you just wanted to drink. I got it. All right, let me take over.
Well, you're all going to be shocked to hear that we did not finish the coop yesterday. I know, astounding. But today, today it is functional and the chickens are in the run and they slept in their coop last night, which is a pretty big milestone. Let's check it out. Hey, Chicky Moose. Hey, hey. What's up, chicken butt? I made my family some high protein pancakes this morning and because they have no idea what is good for them, they didn't eat them. So I'm gonna feed the leftovers to the chickens. Let's check out the channel. This was the key important step to getting this run and coop functional. Bella's here demonstrating how predator proof this is. She keeps waiting to see if she can get an egg or a chicken, but she can't because there's a channel, right? All right, let's see if anybody used the laying box. Oh, hey girl. Whoop, no cats in there. No cats. No cats. All right, I will leave you to your business. We are gonna wait to do the big coop reveal until all the trim is on, everything looks pretty. I have a super fun sign I wanna make for the coop. So yeah, gotta wait for the finished product. But we're using it, finally! We are using the coop and the run. Amazing. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.